Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, or evening, or good, whatever it might be in your part of the world. And as always, glad to have your company for this ASM3D C560XL tutorial. Good to have you aboard. Today we're going to look at the main door operation. Because if you do not close it correctly, there will be some serious virtual life-threatening aircraft pressurization problems. And since the main exit and the other doors, by the way, which are all 100% authentic, it's important that they be operated correctly, just like the real aircraft. You did say you wanted realism, yes? Anyway, we will also take a look at other access panels and doors like the emergency exit and the lab door and the other outside panels to include their behavior, the lighting, annunciators and warnings too. Now we have both XP-11 and XP-12 versions of the aircraft and if you have seen our other videos, most use the XP-12 version of the aircraft. So what the heck are we doing looking at the XP-11 version? Well, we are beginning this tutorial with XP-11 and we'll transition to the XP-12 version later on. And I'm doing this because I wanted to point out something critical about views and manipulators when you are running the XP-11 simulator. Notice I said simulator. I am not referring to the C560XL here because what we are about to review has nothing to do with the aircraft but it's how X-plane manipulators work which then has a big effect on the jet's experience. And if you recall in our earlier cold and dark startup tutorial, we also talked a bit about X-plane manipulators in that one too. Well, this is just another case. So as you can see, I have the view show instrument regions turned on, all these little green blobs. And when using the internal 3D view, we can manipulate everything normally and as expected. But once you change to an external view in XP-11, that ability to manipulate objects is lost. This is not a bug, but the way the simulator functions. And again, nothing to do with the aircraft. Notice that none of the manipulators for the main door or other doors are available in the external view in XP. So that means I can't open anything. I can't do anything. Now in XP-11, if you want to open anything from the outside, like the C560XL's main door, or the battery compartment, or the baggage hold, or start the GPU as examples, here's what you need to do. Begin with the internal camera view, not the external camera. Then you will need to drift through the fuselage to an outside position, then, hmm, now you can see that we have manipulators and places to do work. Now there have been reviewers who have been quick to point out that the fuselage is not solid or in more technical terms does not have collision turned on and we know that but as we have stated often in our tours and tutorials and we will continue to do so folks we do not do random things in this aircraft. The reason we left the fuselage collision off was to allow you and enable you to open things from the outside to overcome an XP-11 manipulator behavior quirk. How else would you open the main battery compartment to start from cold and dark? Anyway, while we are outside and starting aft, moving this little panel here opens the GPU access panel, then pull down and the GPU will appear. This is a completely authentic custom working and lighted object and its operations are covered in our tutorials. Work backwards to stow the unit. Further forward is the baggage compartment. You can see its operations in the outside tour and further forward is the 100% authentic animated and lighted external battery compartment. This is very critical for cold and dark starts and there are separate tutorials on that procedure too. Further forward is the main exit. Now, to open it, click either the keyhole or the unlatch button and you'll see that the handle unlatches and pops out. Then turn the handle to open it and the door will gently swing open. In the real aircraft, its design is very well balanced and can be easily opened with just one hand. And that little jiggle of the handrail you see at the end, that's the open door lock in place mechanism to complete the opening process. And just as an aside, a pilot once said to us that for some reason he noticed children always want to try to lift it. 
and play with it for some reason. So that's a pretty good safety feature that Cessna designed into the door operation. Anyway, turning to the inside and starting at the rear, we see the emergency exit. There's only one of these in this aircraft. Click this to remove the glass cover and then rotate the handle, but that's as far as it goes. Opening that exit is rarely done, so we save those modeling and animation FPS costs. Also in the lab, the wet door opens a bit, but that's all. It's usually filled with supplies and ditching equipment, if flying over water. The main lab door, however, is 100% authentically modeled, labeled, and animated down to its two-stage animation. The first stage pops it open to reveal the handles to then unlock the door, which can then be slid open or closed. Leaving it unlocked or closed triggers upfront cockpit warnings. Okay, let's turn to the main exit now, and for that, let's migrate over to XP-12. I've started with the door closed, and I have the entry lights on, and notice that the door pins show that all's well, they are yellow. Now let's open it so we can hear some sound effects. Same thing we did on the outside. Click the top button to unlatch it. That's the hiss of the door seal deflating. Turn the handle and it opens the door and it becomes loud inside. I'm going to transition to an external camera view. This is not internal. Now I'm going to an external camera view because I wanted to show you the pools of real 3D light from the entryway. Cool, huh? All the lighting and reflections you see in this aircraft, without exception, and there are over 300 of them, they all come from real 3D lights. There are no pools of fake painted on 2D lit textures done in paint programs like Photoshop. By the way, notice I'm now in the X-Plane 12's external camera view. And as you can see, I now can open panels in the external camera view and check out their night lighting glows. Love it. Turning back to daylight, let's now close the door. To do that, lift the handrail or the inside lift foot handle, either one of them, will show the door, and the door will swing close. Now lock the door by moving the handle to the locked position and back up again. Now the final step is to push the lock button in. Don't forget that. This is critical or the jet will not pressurize correctly. Also, if you do not do this, you will see a door seal warning in the upfront annunciator. So there you have it. Some quirkiness from Explain 11 manipulator behavior, but all said and done, 100% authentic door and panel animations, behavior and lighting in the C560XL. Happy flying, good day.